Apple made a pretty big change to the mail app here in iOS 18.2 and introduced categories that can automatically sort your emails into various categories. And if you're somebody who immediately hates this and you want to get back to the way it was before, I'll show you how to do all of that here in this video. But I also want to show you how the category system works, just in case you're interested and maybe you want to give it a shot because it might actually be pretty useful to you. Now, the Mail app will sort your emails into categories like Primary, which is your personal messages and time-sensitive information. There are Transactions, so any email that is related to confirmations, receipts, and shipping notices. You have Updates, which will have you catch up on news and newsletters and social media updates. And Promotions, which is for your coupon and sales emails. Now, if anything is deemed time sensitive in any of these other categories that's not primary, it will automatically be included in the primary message list. What is pretty useful with these categories is that I can easily find all of the emails that are very similar to each other because they're all grouped by sender. So with transactions, for example, I often have so many receipts from the same company like United for flights. And if I need to find all of these receipts for accounting purposes, instead of trying to hunt it down via search, I just need to find one and then I can scroll up and see all of the transactions that I had from that sender in just one easy location. Now, if you don't like that at all, and you want individual emails for each transaction just broken out into the inbox and then in just a list, go to your inbox, tap the ellipsis in the right corner, and then deselect group by sender. Another useful tip is that if you think a sender is being miscategorized and you want to make sure it ends up in the correct inbox, especially if it's something that should be in primary and it's like in updates or transactions, for example, all you have to do is go to that email, tap on the reply button, and then choose categorize sender. You can then select which inbox you want it to go into instead of the auto categorization that's already taking place. Now, before we turn off categories entirely, if you swipe all the way to the right here on the categories, there's one last one, and that's just labeled all mail. This is every email in order it was received without any sorting. So basically just your standard inbox the way it was before. And the only downside is here you'll have to swipe between each category if you want to go uh, to updates or primary, but then you want to see your all email, you have to swipe to that one. If you don't want to do any of that and you just want to go back to the way it was, remove all of the categories, simply tap the ellipsis in the top right, and then change from categories to list. Everything will revert back to the way it was, no more categories. You can also turn off priority emails, which is what you would see at the top of your inbox if Apple Intelligence deems that email to be a significant priority. And that's pretty much it. I'm kind of on the fence with categories myself. I find myself switching back between having it and not having it. I do think that the more you learn about them and the way you get it set up to the way you might like it, it could be pretty beneficial. But again, if you want to just go back to the way it was, all you have to do is switch from categories to list. It's pretty simple. But I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Are you planning on using categories? Are you planning on going back to list? Let me know down in those comments. This is Madame with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you around in the next video.